Okay. Yeah. Now we are in 2024 New Year's worship. Uh, <clears throat> what legacy will we leave as an inheritance of our lives? First, disciples or future generations who will evangelize the world. And second, the church to save the world. And uh, the last is uh, the economy of light uh, to shine uh, the world uh, and save the world. In 2024, let us initiate the actualization of the eternal masterpiece that will save to, to uh, 237 nations, 5,000 ethnicities, and 20,000 universities. Yeah. That is, uh, those are the world. Uh, this time, I want to share uh, special uh, three messages. Uh, today, part one. God will establish me, saving 237 nations, 5,000 ethnicities, 20,000 universities as an eternal masterpiece, Today's text is Romans chapter 16, verses 25 to 27. Instruction. First, let us first express gratitude for the answer in 2023. Uh, we uh, had enjoyed 24-7 prayer, taking hold of Jesus Christ only. As a result, we recovered uh, the answer of the only. Only Jesus Christ can save us. He defeated the Satan and he washed all our sins and he made a way to meet God. Is he gave us to life, to live eternally. So, let us take hold of only Jesus. And we have uh, enjoyed answers of 25. 25 hours is the time of God, heaven. The kingdom of God. When we enjoy 24 7 prayer, uh, taking hold of Jesus Christ, and that the kingdom of God will come upon us. That is the answer of uniqueness. As a result, uh, we will attain to eternal masterpiece. That is the work of the Holy Spirit, work of recreation. When we receive the Holy Spirit, we can receive the power to save the world. Only through the works of the Holy Spirit, we can preach the gospel and save the field and the world. Yeah, last year, we enjoyed these things. Praise the Lord. And last year, we met together, okay? Yeah. That, is, that was the blessing of meeting God gave us. Praise the Lord. And uh, the future is awaiting for us now. 
what plan for us? God's plan for me and you establishing uh, uh, to save the world. God wants us to establish family and strength, strengthen us. Through what? Today's text in Romans chapter 16, verse 25, through the scriptures. Yeah. That is the revelations of God's mystery. And Paul said, my gospel and preaching of Christ Jesus. Yeah. Through the scriptures and the gospel and the preaching of Christ, God wants us to establish family. All right. That is our future. Yeah. Wonderful. So, the reflecting on God's plan, let us glorify God alone. Let's move on to main body. There is God's primary goal for us. Yeah. First, establish me as an eternal masterpiece to save to 37 nations 5,000 ethnicities and 20,000 universities all of the world. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> that is God's plan for you. Huh? Wow, wonderful. Huh? That is why God wants uh, us to become mature children of God, growing as children who resemble God, reflecting God. When people see you, they can see the image of God on you. Are you okay? <laughs> Do you agree with me? <laughs> yeah, we have the image of God. We must shine the light of the image of God to the world. You are living with your family lines, your parents and parents-in-law see you, the image of God on you. Huh? are shining the, the light now? <laughs> Please reflect God. Hmm? And walking in love of Christ. Practicing God's love. We are in the love of Christ. Let us walk. Let's walk in the love of Christ. As a result, uh, your family and your friends can see the love of God with you and shining as lights in the world, not participating in the works of darkness, bearing the fruit of light. What is the fruit of life? What is the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Love, joy, peace, long suffering, that's patient, yeah? Mercy, and goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Yeah. Let's bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. We are the children of life. 
and uh, let's glorify God. God wants us to glorify Him and praise Him. Now you can glorify Him through worship. And in your field, you can glorify Him also. You can uh, praise Him and you can share the gospel. Uh, you can be praised by others because you are worshiping God. You are, wa you are walking in the love of Christ. All right. And worshiping God. Living before God. Yeah, that is God's, God's, God's plan for us. Huh? Through them, we can be mature Christian of Christ. Mature children of God. So then, how are they matured? How they are, how how are they nurtured? Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 to 17, through the scriptures, providing instruction, correction, and training in righteousness to become mature Christians capable of every good work. And second, various training experience can make you mature children of God. What kinds of experience? First, many kinds of problems. You can find the answer, solutions with the gospel and conflicts. When you face the conflicts, you can find renewal. And also crisis, finding new opportunities and trials. Before them, you can grow stronger. Yeah, there are so many kinds of tribulations, trials, uh, at the time, we can grow stronger in the faith in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> and sometimes, <coughs> We can count temptations, but at the time we can have strong faith. Through the faith, strong faith, we can uh, overcome every temptation and many kinds of mistakes we experience. But uh, through them, we can learn uh, process. Now we are in the process <coughs> uh, <coughs> to the maturity <coughs> and encounters. <coughs> we can recognize <coughs> blessings and curses. Uh, Sometimes uh, the encountering <clears throat> can be blessing for you or curses. Yeah. They can be the channel of blessings, blessings or curses. So we should recognize that. Okay. 
<clears throat> that is why the hardships permitted by God for the for his children are not the gestures the love training for growth maturity uh, what's the matter of maturity Jesus Christ in Ephesians chapter 4 verses 13 to 15 we can find there there are uh, two kinds of believers first mature disciples their faith and their life is in harmony of knowledge and faith as your faith deepens you come to know christ more profoundly and as you delete uh, delve as you delve deeper into the understandings of christ your faith also deepens growing by immediating christ but <clears throat> there is a uh, immature believers they are swayed by deceit temptations and worldly things yeah god wants us to be mature christians okay uh, there's god's plan for you and second god wants us to be uh, disciples of christ building god's kingdom jesus appointed 12 designating them apostles that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach and to have authority to drive out demons in mark 3 14 to 15. so god wants you to be evangelists preachers walking with the lord in matthew chapter 4 19 jesus said follow me and i'll make you fishers of man yeah god wants us to evangelist to save others and second god wants us to become spiritual healers yeah, jesus christ uh, defeated uh, satan and demons and he uh, <clears throat> healed many kinds of spiritual diseases and he gave us the authority to drive out demons and heal spiritual problems and diseases through the gospel and in jesus name so you can hear spiritually there okay and god wants us to become uh, disciples to make disciples again okay matthew chapter 28 verses 19 to 20 jesus commanded to his disciples go therefore and make disciples yeah now we must be true disciples of jesus christ yeah. building the kingdom of god and we must 
uh, make the ciphers again. Okay. Please uh, give birth to yeah, disciples <laughs> in your life. Yeah. Marriage is uh, mm, making disciples each other. Yeah? As a true Christian. Mm. All right. Uh, may you become true disciples in Jesus Christ. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh, in the future, you will give birth to baby. Huh? Hmm. Please make disciple him or her uh, of Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. That is your duty. Hmm? Your mission, or you must evangelize others and to to make them disciples. Okay. And number three, what is God's plan for you? God wants you. Uh, God wants you to. Uh, God wants you to become a watchman, establishing an absolute watch power to save the world. Power enjoying the blessings of the triune God. God gave us his word. Now he is giving us uh, his, his word continually. Now you are receiving uh, the perfect message from God. Okay. So please take hold of that and pray, enjoy, and then you can receive your answer. God gave us salvation through Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is working us to believe in, believe in Jesus Christ and trust in him. And also we can share the, the gospel to save others. They are the ministry of the triune God. And God is giving us his true power to save the world. Okay, please enjoy the blessings of the triune God. And second, Tower enjoying the blessings of the throne. From the throne of God, God's wonderful blessings is coming upon us. God's kingdom uh, uh, come upon us on your house, your works also. Transcending time and space. God is working us. God is mobilizing his angels. And God is shining the light upon our face, our soul, to share the light to the world. God is reviving our soul, body, and life through his July. As a result, we can receive unprecedented answers in the church and your business, your job. And the power for revitalizing the three errors, past, present, future. Uh, let's uh, make our past platform uh, to save the world. Now uh, you can uh, find uh, every kinds of uh, opportunities and chances 
in your present life and in the future God will uh, to establish as his uh, mature children and true disciples to save the world. So you have vision for the future. Your family will be very important family line to save the Canada. Okay. Yeah. And power enjoying five powers, intellectual and spiritual, physical, financial, power and manpower. Through prayer, we can enjoy them. And power conquering the universe. Tower establishing three courts. The Gentiles courtyard, prayer courtyard, and children's courtyard. Yeah. Let's move on to conclusion. Uh, let me begin now to save to 37 nations, 5,000 ethnicities, and 20,000 universities. First, uh, please practice it, this daily scripture and message listening. As a result, you can be fully armed with God's weapons. Set aside meditation time every day, night or morning. Prayer for establishing the tower. Uh, it is important for us to uh, to uh, our life to uh, priority. Before working, studying, meetings, we must uh, set aside for prayer. Prayer is priority. Yeah. Prayer must be prior uh, to any things, any other things. Okay? Yeah. In prayer, in the grace, in the blessing, the spiritual power, we can work and study and meet people. Okay? Do not lose hold of priority. What kinds of contents we can pray to God? Christ, the Spirit filled the kingdom of God. Uh, for example, when we inhale, we can think of Jesus Christ. Lord, you are my Christ. Okay? And hold. You can uh, ask for the feeling of the Holy Spirit. And exhale. With exhaling, you can ask the kingdom of God come okay on you and every step you take around uh, four seconds you can inhale and for seven seconds hold and for eight seconds, you can exhale with breathing. Okay. You can enjoy prayer. Pray. You can enjoy prayer. Okay. Yeah. And second practice: weekly word movement. Let's actually shine the light. So please have my gospel, my words my evangelism 
like St. Paul, and then communicate with them, others. We can send gospel materials. Uh, meditation materials also, or writings also, and or testimony, yeah, you can share others. And please create platforms for evangelists. Mm -hmm. uh, have a meeting for evangelism in same place and same time. Uh, Please uh, fix time and place. Okay. It's good. Uh, you can enjoy the marks of room meeting. First, word for, and second, testimony, and thirdly, prayer. And make a disciple mission home. Make your home a disciple mission home. Okay. Acts, Acts chapter 16, verse 40. Saint Paul met his disciples in Lydia's home at uh, Philippi. There is disciples meeting. There we can share the flow of the world and evangelism forum, and we can train disciples. Yeah. In the future, you can give birth to baby. Yeah. You can train him or her yeah, as true disciple. <laughs> And three, <clears throat> uh, let us uh, make regional church. In, in your region, you are established regional church now. Romans chapter 16, 5, uh, Priscilla and Aquila uh, made their home, uh, home church. Yeah. <clears throat> you, can <clears throat> home, you can make home church or workplace church and and school church and uh, have kinds of have kind of uh, regional church in your field. Yeah. <clears throat> now, let us actually shine. Hmm? <clears throat> let's practice it. Let's let's uh, take one step, hmm? step by step. <clears throat> this year, uh, let us. Take one step for uh, establishing <clears throat> eternal masterpiece. God wants you to establish as a as an eternal masterpiece. Yeah, Amen. And also, God wants our church and our uh, <clears throat> job work. Uh, as an eternal <clears throat> masterpiece, saving the world. Okay, please remember this this year. We are growing as an eternal masterpiece to please God and to save the world. Okay. Let's pray. Oh, Father, thank you for a very, very precious word. Now, we are taking hold of the New Year's message. <clears throat> and we are challenging <clears throat> one step <clears throat> for saving the world. Lord, bless our members to uh, obey your words and practice them. <clears throat> Lord, please establish them as an eternal masterpiece 
best pieces for you to save the world. Bless them, Lord. Please lead them. Help them to obey your words. Receive the glory from them. Please bless their family and family lines and their future. They are preparing the marriage. Lord, please help them to get led for them. Where? In Christ. In the power of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.